Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Dabo Sweeney, the Clemson Tigers, really starting to get it rolling on the recruiting trail, landing their second commitment in the last 24 hours. This one coming from three-star offensive lineman Rowan Brin from the state of New York. And you get into this kid's game, you take a look at some other programs that were going after him. It's not necessarily the flashiest commitment according to the recruiting rankings. You look at other programs that offer Rowan, I mean, Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, Texas A&M, Florida State. This is a versatile offensive lineman that plays tackle at the high school level, certainly could play tackle in college, but also gives you that versatility to kick in and play guard as well. Big fan of this commitment. I think you really need these kind of guys in your recruiting classes, right? Not necessarily top 50 NFL draft potential, but guys that you look from three to four years down the road and say, this guy could be a multi-year starter for Clemson at a variety of different positions. And we talk about this all the time. If there is one position to make sure you're getting right on the high school recruiting trail, it's the offensive line. It's by far the hardest position to address in the transfer portal. You want to make sure you are deep and kind of just have a nice pipeline of offensive linemen coming into the program You look at Clemson in this 2025 class, they certainly have that going for them. Want to get into the film of Rowan. Talk about what he brings to this Clemson program before we do it, as always. Just want to say thank you to you guys and to the Clemson fans. We've been talking a lot about this program on the recruiting trail the last couple of weeks. And the amount of support y'all continue to show, it truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel. I feel like we have a lot more commitments to break down in the next couple of weeks. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with the versatility that Rowan brings to the table. This is a guy that at 6'6", 300 pounds, you turn on the film, you take a look at this kid. He carries 300 pounds just about as good as I've seen an offensive lineman in this 2025 class. Then you start looking at some other physical traits, a 6'10 wingspan. So you're looking at a lean athletic offensive lineman with the 6'10 wingspan that kind of tells you he can certainly play tackle at the college level. And then you turn on the film and say, now I can see why there are some programs that see this kid as a guard as well, because when he's operating in a phone booth, when he is engaged with other defenders, that's probably where he's at his best. He's a little bit stiff in space, but he's a guy that has big, powerful hands plays with low pads for someone that's six, 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 Again, I'm not saying that this kid's going to be a future first-round NFL draft pick, but I am saying that the hit rate on this kid, the versatility, the projection that you have, it's hard to see him not being a starter for Clemson sometime down the road, whether that's at tackle, whether that's at guard. Let's get into the film, talk a little bit about, or I guess show and talk about what he brings. And the first thing you like is, again, this is a pretty functional athlete. At 6'6", 300 pounds, he can pull the play side, operate in space. That's what I mean when I say I kind of see guard. Like when he is engaged with defenders, he is just such a bear. You see it here, down blocking here, just moving people off the line of scrimmage. Uh, Again, I think he can play tackle. He's got all the physical traits to play tackle. Has some nice pass rush reps on the film, but... I love when you're asking him to get on his down blocks, get on his down blocks, get downhill. You see a little pass pro here at the left tackle spot. It again, really fluid athlete, nice base, using his hands, getting engaged with defenders. He's got some nasty in him too. I think there's a lot of reasons to see him as a tackle or a guard at the next level. Low pads, moving people, washing people down, really big time upper body strength as well. You kind of see that on the film. And <laughs> one thing you are going to consistently see with Rowan. He is nasty. Like He finishes blocks consistently, and you look at Dabo, the culture he wants on the offensive line, you want offensive linemen that play with that nasty. I think Rowan certainly brings that in. You kind of look at what Clemson's doing in this 2025 class, a program that a lot of people like to say it's kind of on the downward downward spiral, not going in the right direction. I think a lot of Clemson fans are saying, all right, yeah, the last two years were certainly not the expectation for this Clemson program. You look at what they're bringing in in the 2025 class on top of a really good 2024 class, and Clemson fans have a lot to be excited about, specifically along the line of scrimmage. You take a look at the offensive line prospects that they have committed. One, four-star offensive tackle, Braden Jacobs from Buford, Georgia, a guy that we talked about. 
Braden Jacobs is probably closer to that first round caliber offensive lineman. I think there is some big time upside for a guy like Braden Jacobs. You continue to scroll down Easton Ware, 6'5, 280, kind of a similar build to a guy like Rowan Ware. They're not necessarily fully developed. They're not 315 pounds just yet, but you get them into this Clemson program, give them a year in the weight room. A guy like Easton Ware, a guy like Rowan Brink, they could easily get up to 315 pounds. And kind of, I think their best football, I guess you try to say, is probably two or three years down the road. And then you have Rowan locked in, and you look at what this offensive line class could be. You got three offensive linemen, two of which that I think give you really good versatility. And Easton Ware and Rowan Brin play guard, could play tackle. Yeah, Braden Jacobs, who I think can be an elite right tackle at the college football level. If you land David Sanders, that is, you're looking at a phenomenal offensive line class where I think you got two future really high upside tackles in Braden Jacobs and David Sanders. Then you look at Easton Ware, Rowan Brin, guys that can give you that versatility, play tackle, play guard. I'm a big fan of what Matt Luke is doing with this offensive line class. That was one of the probably more underrated hires that Dabo Sweeney made. And we very rarely see him go outside the program to bring guys in. Matt Luke was, I mean, he is he is one of the best offensive line coaches in the country, one of the best recruiters in the country. I think you're looking for some development on the Clemson offensive line. I think you're going to see that on the football field in 2024, but you're also seeing the benefits of bringing in Matt Luke on the recruiting trail and you're sitting early June with three really quality offensive linemen already committed to this program in it for multiple top end guys, including someone like David Sanders, who again is probably the comes as the leader in the clubhouse to land that commitment. And you get David Sanders and you're looking at one of the better offensive line classes that you see in the country. Another really nice pickup for this Clemson program. We'll cut it at that. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later.